Howdy! How's everybody out there in YouTube land today? I hope this finds you warm. Lord have mercy, it's a cold day here in eastern Indiana today. My my pet polar bear, he sat down on the ice out there and got stuck to it. And when he tried to get up, he pulled all the fur off his fanny. Hey, he's in a heck of a snit today, I tell you what. <laughs> Oh, he thought he was cold before. Wowee. It's time for another exciting episode of Heifer Haven's Free Advice. Look at our heifer over here. She got her eyes all bright and shiny, and her ears are all fuzzy. She's wanting to know what we're going to talk about today, Bridget G. What are we going to talk about today? Well, I'm about to tell you. Before I do, though, there's one thing we've always got to do, and that's more cowbell. Now that we got your attention, let's see what our letter has to say today. Dear Heifer Haven, I'm getting up in years and it's getting very difficult for me to shovel all this show, snow that has been dumped on us of late. And I'm wondering how you managed to get your snow moved because I can't find anybody that wants to shovel and I don't have a whole lot of driveway or, or sidewalk area, but they just don't want to do it. How do you motivate them? Well... Here's my advice for you. First thing you got to do is you got to start kind of summertime or at least by the time school starts. Figuring out where the young people live in your area. Like if you start out when school lets out of a day, you know, and you just go outside on your front porch, you just kind of watch where these kids go, what houses they go into. You'll start figuring out where they live. And if you start figuring out where they live, then you make friends with their parents. You know, just drop by and, and say, hey, I'm your neighbor. So and so, I live down here at such and such. I just wanted to stop by and say hi. I like to know my neighbors and know who lives around me. Didn't want to waste a whole lot of your time, but just wanted to say hi to you. Come down for coffee sometime or or maybe take them a cake. You know, take, take them some, some baked goods or, or a little something. And just introduce yourself around. Get to be friends with these people. And then, when the snow hits, you might mention to them, boy, I can't get nobody to shovel my snow down there. Boy, it'd be nice. Is there any young people in the area that would want to shovel some snow? Now, if these people are decent people, they're going to send Junior or Junior S down there to your house with a snow shovel to shovel your driveway and your sidewalk out. They aren't going to let you sit there like that. But now you don't want to just have one person. You want, to, you know, four or five of these neighbors <laughs> in case the first couple of them don't pan out. You want to go to finding out, okay, who's willing to help a little bit. And then when the kid comes down and helps you out, or even, you know, the, the man in the family or whoever comes down and shovels you out, offer them something. If they don't want to take any money, bake them a cake. There's all kinds of real quick, cheapy recipes over on YouTube. You can check them out that, that are real good, like dump cake um, mixes or poke cakes or, or any of that, that are good. And they might appreciate something like that. I mean, find out if they've got any diet restrictions and stuff before you do something like that. But find out what, you know, what do they like. And uh, fix them a little something if they don't want to take any money for it. But that's, that would be my advice. And, you know, short of that, then I'd say, get you a bright colored coat and good heavy one and put it on and take a snow shovel and go out on your sidewalk and lay down. And it, when a car comes by, go to waving your arms up in the air. <laughs> Eventually, somebody will stop. And when they stop and get out to help you up off the grass, I come out here to shovel, but I'm just not able to do it. And I sure wish I had somebody to shovel my walk, and you might guilt them into it. Hey, I said it was free advice. I never said be good. 